This video was brought to you by The Ben Shoes, linked in the description below. Hey there, tech heads. Welcome back to the channel. And um, I hope everyone is you know, staying safe with everything going on. I hope everyone is staying indoors. Please be careful. Don't go outside. Okay. Um, so today we're going to be talking about five more apps you need in 2020. Like these are apps that I use to keep myself productive and entertained. And I really hope you guys, you know, find these apps as useful as I do. So the first app we're going to be talking about is Canva. Now, this is the app I use for graphics designing for like, you know, flyers and like logos, the stuff I use for like YouTube and stuff. We all know what graphics designing is. And um, it's got a pretty user friendly interface, like lots of cool features. Um, if you take the time to actually look for these features and most of them are for free. It's got a lot of, you know, templates to use as well. And most of them are for free. There is a pro version where you have to pay a subscription to like remove some watermarks or to um, unlock some new fonts and stuff like that. But you can really accomplish a lot with just the free app. Okay. And um, Canva is available for iOS and Android as well. Now, the next app we're going to be talking about is smart switch now smart switch is um, an app that really makes it easy for you to switch devices as the name suggests now um, basically it allows you to transfer all of your data from your old device to your new device regardless of if your old device is an iPhone or an Android to another iPhone or to an Android so um, <clears throat> you can choose to transfer your data through Wi-Fi or via a cable and it just makes everything really seamless and you can actually, you know, transfer everything from your phone in the exact way it was in your, you know, old phone. You can transfer even your wallpaper, the way you arrange your icons and so on and so forth, provided you're transferring from like a Samsung to a Samsung or at least an Android to an Android. I don't know if the same settings apply when transferring from Android to iOS or iOS to Android. So Smart Switch is available for both iOS and Android as well. I apologize for the noise. I don't know why it's now a lot of people decide to drive their cars. Do you guys not know we're under quarantine? Like go to your houses. Nonsense. <sighs> okay. Um, All right, so the third app um, I want to talk about is Automatag. Automatag. Now, um, personally, this is um, I'm the kind of person that doesn't really like seeing um, music without album art covers. Like this is for us, like the people who download their music from the internet. We're, we don't have any subscription services, no Spotify, YouTube Music, or whatever, whatever. So if you download your music from the internet, like there's a high possibility that it's gonna look something like this. Like there isn't going to be any, um, um, you know, album art, no pictures, you know, displaying when you're playing the music. Now, this is where Automata comes in because um, it allows you to, you know, find the album art for this particular song and apply it. And it makes it look a lot more organized, I guess. I don't know. It just it, it, it gives it this aesthetic for me that I really enjoy. And all you have to do is locate the song type in the correct title and the um, artist who sang the song and voila that's it you've got your album art um, attached to the song so the next app we're going to be looking at is Udemy now Udemy is one of those um, you know websites where you can study some courses um, you know like Khan Academy or Coursera you can study some courses like um, you know graphics design video designing whatever video editing or whatever you want to learn and um, the app just makes it easier for you to like you know have all these courses on the go and now especially during this period this quarantine period a lot of those courses have been given like massive discounts or even made free personally I've subscribed to some I enrolled rather on some um, um, graphics design and video editing um, courses and I mean, there are a, there's a plethora of different courses you can choose to enroll on. Like you can go and you know enroll on whatever suits your fancy. Trust me, like most of these courses are gonna grant you like a lot of useful skills, or so it can help you like you know further your um, skill level in whatever you're interested in, or like maybe get some new hobbies. 
you know, there's a lot you can do with this. And it's like, you know, like I said, a lot of these courses have been discounted or even free. So make sure to um, seize the opportunity. All right, then the fifth and final app we're going to be looking at today is Sea Cleaner. Now, um, I'm sure some of us are skeptical about most of these cleaning um, cleaning apps. I am pretty skeptical about them as well, but Sea Cleaner is one that I really trust. I actually started using this on my laptop first, and you'd be surprised the amount of um, space that's being taken up by like temporary files, cache files, and so on and so forth. So when I found out that there was actually an app for this, and it was actually I was like, oh, well, let's let's give it a try. Let's see what's going on here. And you know, actually, it's you know really really good. Um, you'd be surprised to find out that like up to several gigabytes of space of um, storage on your device can be taken up by temporary files or cache files. And you know, just running a quick clean on CC Cleaner can um, on C Cleaner rather can help you to clear up a lot of space. You can move from about nine gigabytes of available storage to, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 gigabytes, depending on how much case you have. And it also provides you with an overview of what exactly is taking up space on your phone. Maybe your videos, maybe your apps, maybe your photos, like it gives you this like, you know, comprehensive diagram of just how much of space is being taken up by each of these, you know, um, things that you have on your phone. Personally, my videos take up all the space on my phone followed by my pictures and then my apps so and it helps you to like you know select what you want to get rid of and do that like pretty easily so um yeah i guess that's it actually so thank you guys so much for watching this video like i said earlier this video was sponsored by the ben shoes please make sure to check out their links in the description please ensure to um you know get yourself something nice I mean, this quarantine isn't going to last forever and when it's finally over, you're going to want to go out and, you know, flex a little bit. So ensure that your outfit is complemented by the perfect pair of shoes. Yeah. So um, also, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Can you guys just stop making noise, please? Ah. Please make sure to subscribe if you have not done that already. Um, turn on post notifications. Please make sure to smash that like button if you did enjoy this video Leave suggestions or comments in the comment section down below like suggestions on the next video You want to see and so on and so forth. I will ensure to you know Check that out and respond to all of you guys. I really love getting comments and I really love hearing from you guys as well Please make sure to check out my previous videos. Make sure to check out the um, Previous video like the preluding video to this one the part one the first five apps I talked about you know in 2020 so please make sure to check that out and my previous videos they will be floating you know beside me as they usually do and with that said thank you guys so much for watching please take care of yourselves wash your hands and I will catch you in the next one peace